Hi everyone, welcome to my PHP tutorial video. In this video, I'm about to explain how to use template, which means we're gonna make and style a spreadsheet in Microsoft Excel. And then we're gonna use that file and fill our data in PHP. This way, we don't need to make the Excel file from scratch like in previous chapters. And we will also learn how to make and implement conditional formatting. Let's begin. Here I've prepared some data in database. The database name is PHP Excel Test and the table student. And we have ID, first name, last name, email, gender, class, and score. Now let's make the template. I'm gonna use this guide from previous chapter. Remove unnecessary part and add one column for score. And for the content, I'm gonna add a border, just vertical border, and add top border below the bottom row to close the table. Now for how the template works. In template, we only need to change the content. And to insert the content, we insert a new row. And add the data to the previous row and so on. And last, we remove these unnecessary rows. Now let's do it in the code. I'm gonna copy the script from previous chapter. And remove these unnecessary codes. In previous chapters, I made some errors by forgetting to call the class I used in the script. But now that's not going to happen, because I'm now using Visual Studio Code with a plugin called PHP IntelliFence. What does PHP IntelliFence do? Let's see. There, PHP IntelliFence is a high-performance PHP IntelliSense. Basically, this plugin will greatly help us in developing less faulty code. Let's go to the script. I'm gonna give an example. When I'm using something like IO Factory, when I type IO Factory, there will be a suggestion like this. And when I click it or press enter, this line will be automatically added. So with this, we are less likely to forget. And then it could also detect what is inside this class, like this. IO Factory have create reader and some method. And it will also tell what parameter this method expect. This is just convenient. And what's more, we can pick at the source code of these classes. Just in case we want to know what is inside it. Of course, we're not gonna make any change here. Alright, let's start coding. Now what we're gonna do is to load the template and add the content, remove last empty rows, then we make a conditional formatting. Now we load the XLSX template. To do it, we need to use reader from IO Factory. So let's call IO Factory, create reader and the reader type should be xlsx. In previous chapters, we begin with creating new spreadsheet object like this. But not this time. We are not making a new spreadsheet. Instead, we just make it from one that already exists. So we just need to load that file using reader we have just made like this. Reader, load, and the parameter should be our template file. Let's try to execute the code. If nothing goes wrong, 
we should get our template back. Now let's add the content. We are getting our data from database, so make a new connection. And add some logic to stop the code if the connection fail. Now fetch the data. In my database, I have a thousand data. For just an example, I think that is too much. I'm just gonna limit it to 100. Before the loop, I need to store the start of the data rows, it should be 3, as well as a pointer for current rows, which will be incremented later. Now let's do the loop. In every loop, we need to insert a new row. Let's try it out to make sure it is working. Looks good. Now set the cell value with our data. I'm gonna speed it up. And lastly, increment the current row. But there are extra empty rows at the bottom which is our original rows in the template. We have to remove these two rows using remove rows. The first parameter is the current row number. The second is how much row we need to remove. In this case, 2. It is perfect. Now we're gonna add a conditional formatting in the score columns. The rule is if the cell value less than, let's say, 70, the fill color should be changed. Now how do we do it in the script? First. I make a new conditional object. As I have explained before, the conditional class is automatically added as I type. Now making the rule, which is less than 70. To do that, we call condition. Set condition type. Set it to conditional condition underscore cell is. Then set operator type to operator underscore less than and add condition to 70. I will explain those later in the video. And then set the conditional style. This is the same as when we are setting the cell style. I'm just gonna change the fill and the font color here. 
let's do the fill color first seems like I used the wrong color class here this is not the class I want what I want is the one from the style class let's go back a bit when I type color there are two suggestions one is from the reader excel test class and the other is from style the intellifence plugin can help us code easily but you need to be careful with the suggestion because it could inject the wrong class and you won't realize it so double check the class and the class namespace before hitting enter on the suggestion next let's do the font color Now we need to apply the conditional into the cells range. Let's define the range first. To apply the conditional, we need to get the current conditional from the range. The get conditional style should return an array. Then we push our conditional into this conditional array. And finally, reapply the conditional array using set conditional styles. So basically, we make a conditional, then get the current conditional from the range, and add our new conditional to that array, and then apply this new conditional array to the range. If nothing goes wrong, it should look like this. If we open the conditional formatting, then manage rules, we can see the rule we just made. When we edit this rule, we can see the rule type is format only cells that contain, which is equal to condition underscore cell is constant. And then the operator less than is equal to the operator underscore less than constant and the add condition parameter goes to value and in the format we just change the fill color to red and font color to yellow and leave everything to the default this concludes this chapter of tutorial thank you for watching i hope this tutorial is helpful i put the link to the source codes in the description Feel free to ask anything in the comment section. Please kindly like my video and subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.